Yeah, let's talk about what the meta is like now that the new class Slayer is out, because a lot of things kind of have like changed or may have changed, people are saying, because of like the class tree here giving crit rate. So like as either as a subclass, you can get up to 5% in total uh, from these two passives or 10% for the main class, but also um, in the main class, there's more critical things with like different abilities, like the Gunblade Focus, as well as like the Blade Counter and the Unleashed Rage. So that also has a factor in terms of your damage. And that kind of changes how you may augment because with Floor Potency, that does not help at all if you're critting, but straight potency does. So maybe it's time to go to a full potency build over like a little bit of potency in a mix of floor, uh, like what we usually did in the past. Now we're gonna take a look at what's the, what, what is best for like subclass slayer if you're gonna be using that or main class slayer. Uh, if you choose to uh, do that throughout the game. So before the meta build was this here. So having an Addy, having Mastery 4, also Credit 4, Health and Alley, and Pedestal 4. So a mix of like floor potency, but also potency capsules. But theoretically, People have been saying that this may be better, just going straight potency instead. So switching out like the mastery and the ultra credit four for like three percent potency capsules because that's going to help out the crits more um, over just having the extra floor potency, which does not help in those situations, but just helps when you're damaging normally. So we're gonna look at different scenarios on where this will be good. So we're going to take a look at the critical up here in the Gallant Crit, as well as with and without um, add-on skills. And then, of course, like the other abilities, like the Gunblade Focus, as well as when the enemy's downed, and even uh, versus level 74 enemies and level 70 enemies. So there's a lot to kind of take in, but it kind of matters, I found out, with each situation. Yeah, right now, when you look at without Slayer, essentially, with any of its things. The full potency for the Neos Astrian, uh, the highest it's at is Fix a Fatal at 690 here, with no add-ons. But if you have, like, max add-on, for instance, I pump those up to 20, and then 20. Then it becomes 795. So yeah, Fix of 5 is definitely what you want to want for like a full potency build. But if we do the same for uh the floor kind of build, the potency slash floor focused build, and pump it up uh, with the add-ons. You'll see that the number here is actually higher. So this is what the meta was before. See a difference of like 15 uh, DPS over time. And this kind of goes across all of the fixes and no fixa. Like it's just better in every scenario pretty much over the full pot build. But we're going to take a look to see if that changes. So first off, we're going to look at subclass Slayer. So the way that we're going to do this is pump this up to 6, which I know you can pump it up to 15, but because this is like main technically, we're going to have it give 3%, and then this we're going to have it give uh, 2%, which is equal to that 5% that we get for a subclass. So essentially the same. And we're going to do that over here as well. So 5% crit rate for uh, both of the builds. So first, let's see what it is um, when the enemy is up at level 74. So on a full potency build, it becomes 821.75. 
But for the floor one, you'll see that becomes 832.11. So it's still better to do the floor build uh, over that. But now let's take a look with that new add-on for uh, Slayer, which is the down crit rate. So pumping that up to 20, which gives you 15% crit rate when the enemy is downed. So we have to check this, and then check this. So actually, yeah, it switches over to Termina on the floor build at 1349.86. And then on the full potency build, it's still Fatal, like Termina isn't as good yet. But yeah, Fatal is very close to the potency slash floor build on a subclass. But only when the enemy is down. But overall, still, uh, the original build, the original meta is better for the rest of the classes that are going to be subclassing like Slayer, even with max add-ons. So I would stick with that if you're like any other class for now. Unless if we somehow get more crit rates in like a future weapon. That is like better than Astrian like potency wise as well. So if we had like a little bit more crit rates, maybe from maining Slayer, there might be a difference. To the max crit rate that you can get. So 10%. and 10%. So this is maining Slayer. We're going to keep the add-ons here like this. And then we're going to uncheck the downs for now. All right, so yeah, this is still level 74 enemies, by the way. And now let's see the numbers. When the enemy is up, max add-ons. So on the full potency build, a towel wins with 847.71 but then if you start to include the gunblade focus things kind of change because that's what you're going to be wanting to use the entire time right you want to, your gunblade focus to be kind of like maxed out termina comes closer termina comes closer here the 893.53 but still fatal even on the full pot, pot build is like winning out just ever so slightly but now let's take a look with the floor build. So as you can see here, the Termina is winning. But it's actually very close to the full pot build once again. But this is when the enemy is up. So the floor build wins by 0 0.3. <laughs> 0 0.3, it's very close. But now when we take a look at when the enemy is also downed, so the floor build gets up to 1486 with Termina 5. And then the potency build gets up to 1496 with Termina actually. So Termina kind of bumps up ahead uh, on the full pot build once you get that crit rate from uh, the down there. So that actually ends up winning. <laughs> now you might be wondering, what do you kind of like choose then uh, for when you're using Slayer? Like, do I go full pot build Termina or, you know, maybe Termina floor build? Well, honestly, for right now, it's very close. But we haven't even considered yet the other crit rate that you get in the build itself, like from Unleash Rage or uh, like the counter, that kind of thing. So there isn't any like section to actually put that in yet. Um, Cakewalk, who's the maker of this uh, like little guide here, a little good old Cakewalk, incredible person, uh, hasn't like implemented that yet, at least for this version that I have now. So I'm going to artificially put it in. So this is going to be like the Unleashed Rage uh, ability that you get. So 5% more crit rates, just kind of tacked on. Um, 
This is like we show, I guess, in like the class counter here. I'm talking about this little ability right here. That gives you, oh, come on, game. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm talking about this little ability, ability right here that gives you crit rates for 20 seconds. So that's actually going to apply quite often because you can actually do this ability every 20 seconds if you build up the gauge fast enough. Which sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but you should have this up a lot of the time. So going back to thing here, so yeah, put, put in the 5% for that one. Let's plug in the 5% for this. So now they're both at 55%. So now when we take a look at the numbers, let's do it with the enemy up first. So on the Ponzi uh, slash floor build, Termina is still winning in this department with 930. Uh, but then with the Potency one, full pot, it is 928.26 with Termina. So quite a bit of a difference there. Then when you do downed, Comes 1531 for the floor. And then it becomes 1548 for the full pot. So there's like a lot of situations where they kind of like flip flops depending on if the enemy's down or not. At least for level 74 enemies. We'll check level 70 in a second. Yeah, when you're facing Gigantics in like the Sea of Purples or like outside in the open world, it's kind of like. You can either use either or, essentially, but you want Termina when you're playing Slayer over having Fatal uh, for this. But that is also with, like, you know, meta builds, like pretty much the best kind of augments that you have, as well as, like, higher add-on skills. Um, back in, like, my previous notes, um, if you have, like, lower add-on, the lower build becomes more likely because you're not like you don't have as much crit anymore so it's not really helping uh the potency as much uh, so you want to do like floor um if you don't you know have these up like super high but sometimes even with like level 74 here when the enemy is down full pot wins again even at just 10 for these add-on skills so it's essentially up to you against gigantics if you want to do one or the other but now let's take a look at level 70 enemies because it's going to make a drastic difference because they have different like defenses. So with all with the add-on maxed out, with this maxed out on the floor build, level 70. Termina uh, is at 2291 on the floor build. And then for this one here. Full pot is winning, even when the enemy is up for level 70 enemies. So that's a lot of the content, pretty much more so than the level 74 content. Um, so like urgent quests and uh, enemies on the outside, you know, level 70 or lower based on like combat zones. So full pot build actually wins more than the floor build. And then, of course, it's going to be even more so if the enemy is, you know, downed. Like it's going to be like an even bigger difference. Because you're getting more crit rates. See, so yeah, look at that. 38-13 on the full pot, which is a pretty big difference even from like Fatal and this attack uh, and then no fix. So like that's just like a giant jump with Termina. Yeah, with um, the floor build, it gets to... 37.51. So it's actually a considerable difference in terms of DPS over like, you know, a, a longer term like a boss. You definitely want to, as Slayer, I think, focus on full pot and Termina because most situations will be doing that. But if you are 
a budget build. So I have a budget copy here. If you're a budget build slayer with um like you don't have like mastery, don't have like Gigas 4, and don't have Addies, no half and LA, that kind of thing. You still go full pot. But instead of Termina, you go Fatal instead. Um because it like right here, it, it switch from switches from Termina. And Fatal is like the winner. Even attack is better than Termina uh, with the budget build. Yeah, if you're trying to min-max though, uh, Termina wins because your add-ons are just like so much higher. Potency builds up even more because it multiplies off of each other. And that's just kind of like the general consensus, I think, like how it goes. So kind of just to reiterate one last time, subclass Slayer, go with just lore build still. And Fatal. It's the same meta as before. Don't need to change it, even with the subclass. But if you're main classing Slayer, things are going to change. I would go full pot plus Termina. If you're like a min-maxed uh, kind of character, going for that full DPS. But if you're just going budget or like a tankier build, like using Dreadkeepers, then I would still go kind of like full pot in a way. Uh, so not really using Ultra Credit or Mastery. But instead of Termina going for that, you would rather go for Fatal. But... Things may change in the future as well, because this is an ever-changing game. Next week, we're getting uh, a new Fusion Augment Capsule for Mido or whatever from the, the Dual Quest. So who knows what we'll be able to fuse together with Augments, and that might just change the scene. Like, maybe uh, some capsules will just have, like, double the amount of floor, like the three po or like a 2.5% potency capsule with, like, 5% floor. That might, like, make it better. Or who knows uh, what they're going to do. Maybe it's just like a straight potency capsule kind of thing. Which is like extra stats that don't influence the DPS too much. But then also with like the ultra updates, we're getting new skills, getting uh, nine star weapons most likely, and more levels. So that's going to change it as well. So this might not always be the case, but I see main class Slayer pretty much most of the time using Termina over Fatal from now on. And then, I don't know, maybe if, like, the weapons, you know, get crit rate as a standard in the future, like, 10% or more crit rate, then even Subclass Slayer might use Termina or Fatal. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have uh, for this. Uh, you guys have any questions? <laughs> Got any questions? I don't know if I, like, covered it at all or not. I try to do the best I can without trying to make it too overwhelming. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.